We've had a huge moment. We've had an absolutely huge moment. Oh, no. It's a Red Bull special today. Check out this grid. I've got 19 of the fastest drivers to ever make it into the Red Bull Racing F1 program. Not all of them made it into the Red Bull Racing F1 car, though. Some of them stayed at Alpha Tower or Toro Rosso, as it was named back then. Check out some of the names here. Yuki Snowder. We're going to go past Algasari. Where is Snowder? There he is. Wow, accelerating quickly out there. We were completely in the wrong gear that time. Algasari never got his chance in the Red Bull Racing car. Did he do enough? Not quite sure. Yuki Snowder seems to be doing quite a bit right this season. Obviously teamed up with Pierre Gasly, which is um, not an easy teammate to have considering what he's achieved in Formula 1. Including that win at Monza. Right, here we go. Down the straight. It's a seven-lap race. And who knows what the weather is going to do, by the way. Who knows what the weather's going to do. We've got to be prepared for anything. I'll try and beat Snowder here on the brakes. There we go. Fairly deep into the corner. Wow, a little bit of content. I'm going to get my radar up. Brendan Hartley's up next. And yeah, so we're all in the same machine with the Super Formula car in Gran Turismo 7. My car is detuned to the maximum. Their cars are all maximum power. And they're on the soft tire, I'm on the hard tire. Other than that, it's exactly the same. Let's see how we can do. Can we win this race? It's a seven lap race, but of course it's a short circuit. Whoa, a little bit of contact there with Brendan. Up the inside of John Eric Verne. Surely he should have been given more of a chance in Formula 1. And <laughs> He kind of shows it there with that bravery round the outside and again to the last corner. A fantastic driver to watch. Obviously, he's been doing bits in uh, Formula E. Sebastian Bourdais up next. Let's see if we can get up the inside. Yes, we can. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Whoa. And we go torpedoing into <laughs> Daniel Kvyat there. Going to get past him here on the street. Obviously, he had his chances. Pierre Gasly up next. For me, one of the most underrated drivers on the grid today. I really do mean that. What he achieved in the lower formulas and uh, didn't really get a fair crack at the whip. In my opinion, Carlos Sainz up next. Someone that they might regard as the driver that got away from the Red Bull Racing program. Obviously, he did great in the Toro Rosso, teaming up with Matt Sappen, if I remember. Will we see them team up in the future who knows right our pace is kind of slowing here in terms of our progress we try to go around the outside there's not a lot of grip and it's anti-cambered can we think about diving up the inside there no we can't don't have the speed or the line Carlos Sainz is putting up a good defense here trying to go around the outside or oh, just about a given space I'd say it's Liotzi next oh very easy around the outside of Li Li Liotzi there and we're going to get past, I guess, the second famous most Dutch driver to drive for the Red Bull team. <laughs> right. Lap three out of seven. We are P10. We're halfway to the front of the grid. Whoa, big moment there. I'm running no assists. And um, when you go over the curves, this car really doesn't want to let go. Christian Clean up next. We're going way back in time. This must be, what, like 2005, 2006, maybe? Ooh, whoa, that, that's a bit of contact there. That's my bad, actually. I think we went straight into the back of Scott Speed. We've got any American viewers watching. What's, what's the consensus on Scott Speed? And here he is, Max Verstappen. Is he the fastest driver Red Bull have, have ever had? Or does that go to Sebastian Vettel? Oh, that's a controversial question. We're going to try and go up the inside of Max here. Here we go. Oh, he squeezed us a little bit up the inside. He won't be able to deal with that. It surely... Oh, he's come back at his... There we go. Finished the job. Definitely ahead of Max that time. <laughs> so he did come back at his there. So, heading around for lap four. Up ahead, we've got Ricardo and Perez. Ricardo obviously made that controversial move from Red Bull to Renault. Difficult to say if that really paid off for him in, in his career. We breeze past him here. It looks like there's no clouds in the sky, so I'm hoping there's not going to be any rain or anything like that because you're making good progress right now as I think Perez is trying to go up the inside of Coulthard. Coulthard wasn't having it, but they're both going to get a very, very, very poor exit. So next up, Alex Albon, Mark Webber and Sebastian Vettel leading the race. Sebastian Vettel obviously has won the most races and championships for Red Bull with four, Max Verstappen currently on one. 
what's going to happen when we reach these three drivers? They look like they've been driving quite quickly, well ahead of the rest of the field, so maybe they've got a bit more pace. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, by the way, and these F1 videos. Do let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you enjoy them. It is the best way you can show your support grow the channel. I really appreciate you if you subscribed or if you've just clicked that button. Absolutely nice. All right, catching up with Alex Albon here. Obviously, he had a very controversial moment at this track with uh, Lewis Hamilton. Just when he needed some luck, he kind of he had a bad run of luck. Is he going to give us a space here? Oh, my word. We, I'd say no. He swore onto the grass there as Albon. Let's try and do a little cut back here. There we go. Now we can dictate the pace of this corner. He won't be able to get us back. So, three laps to go. Dare I say the cloud cover is changing a little bit. Up over to the radar, looks like there's not going to be any rain, which I think is good news for us because I don't have any wet weather tyres. <laughs> and uh, Weber and Vettel are really, really, really like massively quicker than anyone else here. So, let's see if Weber's going to um, do a job that's not bad for a number two driver. There we go. Three seconds for to tell. I'm struggling here. We're gonna at the end of this lap, it's only gonna be two laps to go. And unless we get a move on, we are not gonna be in the hunt to win this race. So really gotta knuckle down here. And we've got to get past Vettel as well. One of the grittiest drivers that F1's maybe ever seen in like the modern age. He's not gonna let us go. It seems like it's getting pretty misty, I've gotta be honest. The uh Atmospheric conditions are definitely changing here. So we'll be prepared for whatever happens. There's only two laps to go. But we are struggling to catch up with these guys, I'll be honest. Right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Trying to go around. Oh, I'm all on the. That was a bad idea to go around the outside there. I think I should have just bided my time. To try to get. Mark Webber here quite easily on the straight. Oh, We've had a huge moment. We've had an absolutely huge moment. Oh, no. Never give up. We're, just, we're not on the racing line here on the pit exit. So keep going. But that was really, really, really a real poor moment for me. I talked about that curb earlier. We're behind Verstappen now. Deary me, you can't can't always get it right. This is This is a live recording. Go around the outside of Ricardo again, trying to light it up. It's 12 seconds to the leaders. I mean, can we get on the podium? Maybe that's all I can really hope for. I think at this stage, I try and go around the outside of Coulthard here. There we go. We get it done. 10 seconds. Again, can we go around the outside of Perez? Use a downforce in the same form of the car. There we go. There is a lot of downforce available. Alex Albon, we know that he tried to run us off the track last time, so we're going to get a bit ahead of him this time. 10 seconds to the leaders. They have really, really, really run away with this, I'm trying to use all of the track and then some now. I'm really picking up the pace, to be honest. We're going to get on the boost as well. Seven seconds. Boosting, I'm boosting, I'm boosting that overtake. Right, let's nail it here. Wow, that's a lot of curb. That's a lot of curb. We might might have the race director screaming our ear about that one, but let's assume we've been let off that one time. <laughs> Five seconds. A little bit too deep there. Quite a bit too deep, to be honest. I'm driving scruffily. I'm just trying to overdrive a little bit. Four seconds. We're using that boost now. Three and a half. Surely a lot of time to be gained in the sector. Damn it, that upshift was not the one. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't think we're going to win this one. I don't think we're going to win this one. Oh, 
Tom is so we could have done it if we were just a bit better. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. It's going to be a P3 in this one, in this Red Bull Special. I just dropped it on that curb. I was too greedy with the exit curb. But anyway, sorry I couldn't win this one. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do make sure to like, subscribe. That's exactly what I did, jumping over like that. Make sure to like, subscribe, all of that good stuff if you did. And I'll see you in the next one.